hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be explaining you about uh, balcony sedja and canopy uh, let's get into detail uh, with balcony first so what do you mean by a balcony see uh, most of the apartments uh, you can see balcony right so balcony is uh, nothing like a, a platform which is uh, generally projecting from the wall of a building and uh, it will be generally supported by columns or brackets and it is enclosed with a balustrade so you can see a uh, balcony right so balcony is projected from the wall from the uh, building wall and uh, sometimes it is supported with the columns sometimes it is supported by cables like that and uh, it is enclosed by the balustrade means the area of the balcony is closed by a balustrade okay generally most of the cases uh, we see these balconies for upper floors uh, but uh, some people give it to ground floors also so coming to the functions of a balcony what what functions does a balcony possess or perform so it acts like a external place other than the carpet area means you know carpet area meaning right so carpet area means the inner to inner distance between the walls so until which your carpet can be spread that area is called as a carpet area so uh, other than these rooms balcony is like a additional place and it also acts as a door to the environment so um, to get fresh air and so on you can just open the windows uh, doors of the balcony and you can enjoy it the place you can go just go sit and relax in that place it also helps in maintaining proper circulation in the building so the fresh air which comes inside through this balcony will allow us to maintain proper air circulation and also proper healthy environment so you can see uh, this is the diagram for a balcony and uh, this uh, brown color uh, closer whatever you can see that's a balustrade coming to the types of balconies we have generally three types of balconies first one is cantilevered balcony hung balcony and stacked balcony so let's see what are these first one is cantilevered balcony you i think uh, you have heard the word cantilever means one side will be fixed and the other side will be projected free that's a cantilever meaning we have a cantilever beam like that similarly we have cantilevered balconies so these balconies uh, are constructed in uh, such a way that this balcony will generally uh, extend or will come out from the wall of the building or face of the building but the supports of this balcony are not visible so they are built inside the supports of the balcony cannot be seen with our naked eye that's called as a cantilevered balcony the weight and imposed loads are supported by the cantilevering uh, this balcony to the wall uh, these balconies will not need or have any brackets or chains or steel cables this type of balcony while possessing the most aesthetic end result will also be required to design in advance and will impose larger point loads on the building remember this type of balcony cannot be added or cannot be add uh, you know uh, given in the last minute it should be designed by because the supports of this balcony are not visible to us so the supports and the load everything should be pre designed and then only you can install uh, or you can construct so examples of this cantilever balconies hence uh, these balconies uh, load coming on this balconies is considered to be as a point load next we have hung balconies so hanging you know the word hanging right so hung balconies are also hanged so how are they hanged with the help of what they are hanged with the help of stainless steel cables so you can see some uh, bridges cable straight bridges like that which are hanged or which are supported with the help of cables similarly is our balcony so our balcony is supported with the help of steel cables or steel wires right so the cables or wires act like a support hence hung balconies are those in which the supports are visible right and uh, obviously this uh, balcony sits perpendicular to the building and a steel cable is generally fixed to the edge of the balcony and large plate is connected to the building at 45 degrees so the fixing at the wall makes the maximum use of the bolt strength since we are fixing the plate to the wall with the help of bolts and uh, mostly uh, the force acting will be a tensile force and uh, 
of course this balcony is give a very good aesthetic look but it is used in less so it's less common so you can see this is the figure for a hung balcony you can see uh, the balcony is hanged with the help of this wire so on uh, here and here it is connected by bolts so this balcony is completely hanged or it is resting with the help of these cables and these cables are the supports for such type of balcony and remember this type of balconies need not be designed they can uh, pre-design pre -design is not required directly you can uh, attach in the last minute itself next we have st stacked balconies so stack we we hear the word called stack we say stack of papers stack of pens means it's a set of something so uh, stacked balconies is one of the most popular type of balcony structure we say actually why because it is set of balconies together uh, why these balconies are mostly preferred is that why they are most popular is that very simple installation and also very little load is required okay and uh, in a sense very little load will fall on this uh, on the building with the with the installation of these balconies and uh, it is like a separate structure means this stacked balcony structure is a separate structure to the building and uh, on occasions it is connected structurally in the sense we can just come and uh, attach it or we can fix it externally we need not to design or we not need not uh, take the help of bolts or connections anything and uh, this balcony structure is supported using vertical pillars or post i'll be showing you in the figure what are these vertical pillars this uh, solution i mean this usage of stacked balconies has a aesthetic compromise means uh, as i've told you uh, this stacked balcony is resting on vertical pillars that doesn't look good actually but due to its easy installation easy implementation it is used so right this you can see this is a stacked balcony structure this one and this one so you can see there are set of balconies which are stacked together and you can see this pillars right this black color pillars so i told you right stacked balcony will rest on this vertical pillar so seeing this it doesn't look aesthetically good but the implementation is very easy means this complete set you can bring it and attach it to the uh, place wherever you require next coming to seja what is this seja we see this sejas every day in our everyday lives you can see it on the top of a uh, opening like a mostly like for doors and for windows okay so it is the projecting or overhanging eave or simply we can say it's the cover of a roof it is usually supported on large carved brackets sometimes uh, not brackets are used directly we cast monolithically so what are the main functions of this seja seja usually protects us from external sunlight imagine there is no seja on the top of a window so directly sunlight will come inside so it protects us from the sunlight it also protects us from rainwater entering into the building directly it also gives a aesthetic look sometimes in some rich apartments and rich buildings the sedja is also designed it is not plain it is not a, you know a regular one it is given some aesthetic designs and also it looks more decorative and also it acts like a place recess place to keep utility items like ac compressors and so on so most of the times you can observe this when you see big big uh, buildings office buildings just on the window you opening you have a uh, seja and on that they put this ac compressors and so on so like this you can put some utility items also so you can see the, in the diagram this is a seja which is just above the window which acts like the cover for the window next uh, i have canopy so canopy you can see in this diagram uh, canopy is a projecting structure actually so canopy is uh, will is like is just like a roof like structure there are no sides for it only roof is there so in this diagram you can see this is our canopy it is just a roof there is no sides no closures nothing and uh, this canopy is generally uh, you can observe this canopies in uh, malls big big shopping malls and uh, big big official buildings and also in uh, airports and so on so this canopy acts like a shelter and uh, even 
nowadays this has become very common right so as described canopy is an overhead roof or roof like structure which is made up of uh, metals sometimes it is made up of uh, concrete also and uh, which will provide a shelter obviously under all such weather conditions like sunlight hail rain and snow main functions is to provide beauty to the structure so if you observe this building canopy is giving us additional beauty to this building and also canopy uh, is like a temporary or a permanent structure whatever but it uh, designs or it defines actually the importance of this place so if there is a canopy here now we imagine there is another building like this besides this so when when a person observes both the buildings due to this canopy there is an additional beauty and he may think that yes there is some additional feature uh, given here in the sense that this could be the main building right so to give some importance to that place some people may understand okay this is the place or this is the main admin administration building or this is the main place where i can meet people where i can meet delegates so he'll come he'll put, put his car here and he'll enter so like this canopy adds specification or special reasons also or special beauty special reasons you may install the canopy so hope you all understood the video thanks for watching